hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. We're live today. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't skip a day. Let's fucking go. Okay. <laughs> um, welcome in Potato and Luigi. Thank you guys for chatting. They're just starting the soon screen today. Hi, Hacker. We... If y'all watched on Saturday, I... <laughs> bye bye VIP, RIP. Yeah, because we did a... We did the Meg Esports Mario Party event on Saturday. And I think the reason why people didn't get the goal line notification is because we did the tournament stream. I ended, and then I went live after five minutes. And I think what happens... Um... Twitch will not push out another go live notification because if you go end and go live again within five minutes, they just see it as you restarting stream. So it's not a separate stream. That's why people didn't get the push notification. Oopsie. Not my fault. Not my fault. Um, but I think we had only Kobobo win. So sad. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. So if y'all watch stream on Saturday, Saturday morning. I participated in the top, wait, the big three Mario Kart Invitational, and I lost because I sucked ass. I swear, everybody else competing was a sweat. It was supposed to be casuals, but I was one of the worst ones. I felt bad for my team, because like, one of my guys was like actually tryharding, and I just kept getting like bottom four every race, it was so bad. But, I'm gonna redeem myself today. First place only, W's only today. Um, <laughs> before we get started though, if everybody could politely go follow the art channel, you can click the banner in chat, click that little heart button, and you can follow. It's hashtag free to follow. We're so close to affiliate. We just need eight followers, guys. Eight followers. Everybody watching right now follows that channel. That'd be great. You were the most popular one there. No. No. No way. No way. I mean, like, I was trying to be, like, entertaining at least. Like, I was trying to make jokes and shit. I don't know. Because, like, I knew if I was on a team, we wouldn't win. Because, like, I'm just not good against playing real people. So I was trying to, like, be entertaining at least. Like, I was trying to make jokes. I think I'm good at that. Anyway. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot to show the painting. Um, if you're not an art frog, we finished this one Monday. We finished this one Monday. So if you want a painting like this, this one looks pretty sick, actually. Like, the simplest design took the fucking longest. I think this took a little over 10 hours, but go follow the art channel and you'll see paintings like that be made. Okay, enough song. Let's play the fucking game. Are you sure those was just- they were casuals? I mean- I think they meant casuals in the sense of nobody's on like a pro team. Cause like, you know when you see somebody who's like on a team and they'll have like an abbreviation at the front of their name like that. Oh wait, I forgot to say, um, we have TTS enabled now cause we got a farm. Oh wait, this is the main channel. We did a sub only stream yesterday. We did Cult of the Lamb. We got through basically all of World 3. I have one final boss beat. Um, VODs for sub only streams will be unpublished, but they are posted on the VOD YouTube channel. So you can watch old streams, or if you miss a sub only, and if you're a non sub, you can watch on YouTube after a month. Anyway, as I was saying, we have TTS enabled because, guys, I've been talking about it for a while, but it's official. I'm gonna be moving out, living on my own with roommates. Um, we're moving out a little bit this weekend. And then fully during Thanksgiving weekend, because we're thinking about it, like, everybody's home, everybody's home for holiday, and there's, like, a boatload of Black Friday deals, so, like, we can buy, like, all our housewares and stuff for cheap. Are you gonna fill the wall behind you with art? I think that'd be cool. Um, I have, I have to think about what type of design, because I don't know what my room space is gonna be like, because it's either I'm gonna get, like, a little... I'm either gonna get like half of a basement or a garage for stream or I have to stream out of my room again So it all depends on how much space I have because like ideally what I want to have if I have to stream out of my room I want to like get a big piece of like plywood and paint that every two months 
So essentially my stream background, instead of having like the wallpaper, it would be like a mural that I would paint over every few months. I think that would be sick. Or if I am able to stream out of like an art space, then I can have like my paintings on easels because we're not allowed to hang things, things on the wall. So I can like tack things or put nails on the wall unless there's pre-existing holes already. So I wouldn't be able to hang up my art. So yeah, I mean, you guys will see. So like I said, we're going to be moving like a little bit this weekend and then fully next weekend during Thanksgiving break. So that means stream schedule will either be on full hiatus starting next week or partial hiatus. Because like, I think I'm going to be moving out some furniture this weekend. So like my dresser, my TV, some shelving this weekend. So I won't have my TV <laughs> next week probably so we can play game. But we can do art streams next week. So if you don't want to miss a single second... If you like me or something, parasocially, follow the art channel. We're going to be doing more art if I don't have my TV set up, so. Yeah, that's like the bigger announcements. I know I've been like talking about it, but it's like, it's official now, so. And as always, you guys can follow my Twitter. That way you get updates about stream. And I, I like, um, I should be able to stream right away when I move in. It's just a matter of like making sure I have stable internet connection and then they're also doing construction like right outside the building. So I don't want you guys to hear like construction noises. So, but like I said, follow my Twitter and you'll get updates for when I do move. Also, okay, if you're here, you're here. I'm gonna, the last stream I'm gonna do on this channel, I'm gonna name the title. You ready? My last stream ever. Da 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 in this house. So, if you're here, don't leak. Do not leak. We're gonna troll the people who don't watch every stream, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of trolling. So yeah. Because we also gotta farm. Oh wait, I was gonna say. Um we have TTS enabled. If you don't know what TTS is, um you can either cheer hundred bits and type the message next to your cheer, or you can donate five dollars to the stream elements link. And it will say your message out loud. Wowie. Say something funny. Because, you know, we're moving. I'm broke. I gotta farm a little bit. So. Okay. I think that's all I have. Chatter, see if you have questions about anything. I will answer. Because I, I know, like, things have been sporadic this month. But I promise once we're fully moved out and in, streams will be very good. Let's play the game. I'm pressing A. Also, I'm listening out of my headsets today. So I usually don't wear headsets when I play Mario Kart, so I can actually hear the music. Okay, we're gonna warm up with 200cc as usual. Okay, honestly, I have to learn all these tracks. Why can't we do channel points? Because I need money and I need to farm, okay? Because <laughs> after this month, I'm literally only going to have $20 in my bank account. So I, I need to farm. I need to farm. And also, I know if I did channel points, y'all would abuse it. Honestly. Okay, first prediction as do you guys think I will get first place? We're doing predictions every single race as usual. I did it too early. Nope. Perfect. Okay, I think the main thing that I learned after the tournament was that I need to get better with my item. Oh my god, this is really fucking fast. I haven't played 200cc in a hot minute. Easy. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> One can doubt. No way. No way. You guys know I'm cracked at computers. It's just when I play against the real people, it gets kind of dodgy. Okay, those lines are horrible.
Bananas in first? That's pretty good. Key blue still approaching. Wait, wasn't there someone in front of me? Huh? This cup's Rainbow Road is the best. I think it's alright. I think it's the most difficult out of all the Rainbow Roads. I'm trying to practice the Rainbow Road skip. I'm still learning. Ah, oh, dude, it's so clean! Oh, I should have held the banana. That was DUM. gonna go for the skip of the leaf at the end the path is way too skinny and it's not worth there's a skip I mean I call it a skip but it's where like you get near the end and then you fly off the track and then you cuz like you know how the path at the end of the rainbow road is splits into two similar to the skip in big blue to where you just fly off the track and then you land on the one below it did I get first yes of course I did yeah, exactly. That's it, hacker. Okay, new prediction is up. Go, Gamba. <laughs> Dude, I'm so cold. It's like, we have a wood stove in our house, but it's generally, like, freezing. It's because I have a huge-ass window in my room. It basically takes up a whole wall in my room. So my room is not very well insulated. Like, I go to bed with, like, three comforters on, and I'm still freezing. Oh, th that line is always so sharp. I can't do it. I think I need to change my back build. I think I'm at the point where I need to. But I don't want to. think of the new social media app be real when I initially heard about it I was kind of creeped out because I don't like the idea of like posting pictures of myself like where I'm at exactly at a specific time every day like that's kind of weird to me because even when I was like younger like in high school and stuff I didn't have social media like I think I had an Instagram account but I didn't use it for personal stuff I just used it to post my drawings and stuff so I never really use social media to like interact with friends. Like all my other friends did, but I just chose not to. Cause like social media is fake. Oh shit, that was a horrible line. <gasps> anyway. <laughs> I think the idea of the B-reel is interesting, but I don't like having to post a picture of myself like where I'm at throughout the day. Cause like I'm so scared of leaking my location, like genuinely. And I don't go out much, so literally- Oh, fuck. I'm in sixth place. So literally, all my B-Real posts would be just me sitting at my computer. Because that's essentially all I do. Because when you're broke, you can't really go out, you know? I mean, you could, but you just get in debt. Holy! Easy. Dude, I got saved at the end. Super lucky. I cracked? I mean, this is normal computers, so... A new prediction. Oh my god. This morning... I got a super nice Instagram comment because I post all the same videos I post on TikTok, YouTube, onto IG Reels. And like, usually whenever I get a comment on IG, I get anxious because they're always like really shitty. But this morning, I woke up to a really nice one. 
Because they were basically saying, they were like, you know, your clips are so wholesome, you seem so real, and it's not often you see that nowadays. I really like your videos. And I was like, oh, I was like, that's so cute. Like, it made my day. I screenshot it because I, I knew I was going to save it for like, a, a bad day, right? But I think no matter how big or small I am, I still want to stream because I enjoy doing it. Like, I genuinely enjoy, like, chatting and hanging out with all the people who watch the streams, you know? Because we're here to have a good time. We're here to have fun. Ah! Dodged! Fuck. Yeah, I mean, like, now that Be Real has become more popular, I feel like every social media is gonna copy it. Like, I know I've seen, like, a similar mechanic being used on TikTok where it's essentially, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, similar to, like, how basically, like, literally every single social media copied Snapchat. Like, with stories and short form content. But, yeah. In the tournament, how are all the tracks randomized? Um, everybody had to choose random every time manually. <laughs> That's why in the first race that I- I'm in fucking 10th! That's why in the first race that I did, I didn't listen. Like, I didn't understand we had to manually choose random. So I just selected a course that I liked. <laughs> you know, you can say I was cheating, but I was just clueless. First easy? Do my lines have been ass? Oh, I fell off. I fell off. Oh no, dude! What happened? Oh no, guys. Fuck! I was gonna make a joke, but it's not good. <laughs> Surely, but guys, I got first, a first, and a ninth. Do not this does not count towards my redemption. This does not count, okay? We're warming up. Ninth place against computers. Shut up, potato. What did you get in last month's Maggie Sports Tournament? Didn't you get second to last? So I would shut up. But welcome in, hun. <laughs> okay, guys, go gamble, go gamble. Not ninth. We need to see what Potato got. It's on my Twitter. What did you get? Okay, guys. I'm gonna nail this line first try. <laughs> I'm warming up. I'm warming up. Also, I stayed up late reading um, webtoons last night. I'm gonna blame that. Oh, you know it's a trope that bothers me so much in webtoons or comics or like romance shows, because there's oh there always seems to be a conflict where the two people who are pitting for each other they either miscommunicate or they don't say how they actually feel, and then it leads to them having an argument. And it's so annoying because I'm, I keep watching it, I'm like, dude, if they literally, if they literally just told each other how they actually feel, this could all be avoided. Because it always gets to a point where, like, they're either not gonna confess, or they're gonna break up, and it's so frustrating. I think it's because, like, I'm the complete opposite, like, I'm super transparent with most everything. Like, whether it be with, like, platonic or romantic relationship. Like, I just don't ever see myself in that situation. It's so frustrating because they use that trope all the time. Oh, wait! Damn it, I missed. School's been overwhelming, dude. I feel that. Because, like, this month, because I told you guys how I took a two month break from school, right? So, this month was my first full month back. And I am so mad. Because I feel like I've been trying my best. I'm turning everything in on time. I'm trying to, like, put extra effort into my assignments. And. On the projects, fuck, dude, what's wrong with these turns? Um, <clears throat> I kept, I guess, like, this one I turned in this past Sunday that I spent so much time on, I still only got an 88. And, like, because, like, we get video critiques and reviews, 
Dude, dude. And... And, like, the stuff that I'm getting dinged for is stuff that's not necessarily in the rubric. It is so fucking stupid. Because they were like, oh... In, like, the instructions, they are like, oh, this part isn't gonna be graded. But then, they put it... They grade me when it's not in the rubric. It's, it's like, literally stupid. It's literally dumb. Anyway, so, like, the best grade I can get in my class now is a 92. Like, a... The lowest grade I can get is like a B, and that's fine. I'll I'll take a B, but I was so close to like an A. The best I can get is a 92, which is an A, a minus. Okay, and it's, it's it's frustrating. I hate how assignments are graded. Anyway, I got a third. That's better. Still not a first, but still better. I mean, I can't wait for December, because I know I get a week off of college during Thanksgiving week, and I think we get another week off during Christmas week. So I'm looking forward to that. Dude, I got second overall, end me. Skip the cutscene! Okay, let's do one more round of practice. But I think it's important to like know your limits when you're in school. Like, for example, if you're in high school or college, like, you know, don't work if you don't have to, or, you know, don't necessarily join, like, two or three clubs if you can't handle it. Because I know when I was in high school, I did one club twice a week, and then I volunteered in the evenings. And, like, that was a lot. Like, looking back, I wonder why I didn't turn my homework in on time. But, I, I wish... Back in high school, I would have gotten a job instead of volunteering. Like, I would have had so much more money. I mean, 80% is pretty solid. I think that's a like a B or B minus. I just think it's kind of silly how, like, getting a B minus can, like, lower your GPA. Not by a lot, but it still, like, adds up. It's kind of silly, I'm a... I was thinking about it, should they count tests towards your grade? Cause like, I know what was standard when I was in high school, they would have like... 60% of your grade be homework. No, no, it was the opposite. It was like 40% of your grade was homework, and then 60% was tests. So there were a few kids in my classes who would not do any homework, but like ace every single test. Cause, like they knew the curriculum but they would still get like a D and that would be passing like D's for diplomas lamau like I don't know what would be the best grading system I mean I think participation is good I think it should be more based on like participation and then like your your test grades I okay what I wish is that our high school didn't have study hall, so you had to do all your homework at home. And I know there are several times where, like, you would get a question on your homework and you don't know the answer to it and you need help. Like, it'd be cool if we had, like, an hour of study hall. I know some schools do it, but ours didn't. It's just tiring, dude. I feel that. Wushu! You get blasted? Saved. Hi, Titans. Welcome in. Okay, that was close. That was way too close. Dude, my lines have been kind of sucky today. You know, it's fine. I'm warming up. I'm warming up. I guess because I'm cold. I'm getting old. My joints are getting rickety. Genuinely, how old do you guys think I am? 
Because when I was in high school and then in my, in my early 20s, I worked at a daycare. So of course, all the little 8 year olds would be like, Oh my god, you look like you're 40, haha. <laughs> but I've had a few people like online be like, Are you a teenager? But I don't know. I think it's because I don't wear makeup, so it's either people think I look younger or they think I look old because they can see all my pores. I don't know. I mean, I think I look my 20. Okay, you guys know my age. You cannot just say my age because you know it. How old do I look? Answer the question. Do I look 23? You guys did not understand the assignment, y'all. Oh my god. I mean, because, like, my sister, she's 21, but she looks like she's 16. Like, just her facial features make her look really young. But I feel like I look older. Like, if you look at us together, you can obviously tell that I'm the older sibling. Like, you ever look at some siblings and you can't tell that who's older? It's weird to me. And then you find out there's, like, a five-year age gap. I think you sound younger than you look. That's what I was thinking, too. Because, like, I listen to recordings of my voice and I sound super, like, high-pitched. Like, I genuinely thought I had a lower-pitched voice, but I have a high-pitched voice. <laughs> Never ask a woman their age to real. But are you actually 23? Yeah, I'm 23. <clears throat> I know, it's wild, huh? I mean, I think there's, like, an issue if you're online and you look really young. Like, I don't think I look like a minor, thank fucking God. Um, wait, what I got? I got first. Easy. Wait, I'm 23. I graduated in 2017. I I feel like if you're, like, pursuing content creation, I think if you're trying to do it and you're over the age of 30, then I think that's a problem. Like, it's kind of weird when there's older people making content for younger people. I think it's kind of weird. I mean, it's different if you've been in the space for years to where you were before you were 30, but... You see some characters who are, like, trying to be, like, YouTubers or streamers, and they're just, like, way too old. Fuck! I'm fr <laughs> friends with a ton of people like that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Dude, I hate this part. Do you look more like a teenager? That's what a few people have said. I mean, because, like, I feel like my demeanor is something of, like, an adult, but I feel like I look younger. I don't know. Fuck. I looked at chat. You distracted me. I mean, it's good that I look young. Like, my mom. Holy, my mom. She is, um... Uh, let's say, if you could do math, like... Uh... <laughs> 27 times 2, okay? She's 27 times 2, but she literally looks like she's 30. It's insane. <laughs> Megan's mom, watch right now, dude. She's watching on the clock. What is she doing? But she looks really young. I mean, I'm just blessed with good genes, I guess. And my dad, too. He's like a year older than her, but he looks like he's like 35, 40. Kinda crazy. Easy! Guys, I'm a pro. Should I go into another tournament and lose again? Yeah, Titans, you look young. You look young. I usually skip the cutscene where it shows the tracks, and hearing the toads is really funny. Ah, uh, this track! I saw the text where it said ice cream and I got excited. I haven't had ice cream in a long time. Because I remember when I used to babysit, we would go to Baskin Robbins like every other Friday when I got paid. And I would get a shake 
and then wait we would we would both get ice cream shakes and that was like the best part of the weeks right but I know if I go to the grocery store and buy a tub of ice cream I'm just gonna be eating it all the time and that's gonna be a problem because you know I don't need those extra calories so I'm trying my best to only get like healthier snacks and treats Granted, I do still have, like, some Halloween candy, because my mom, <laughs> she bought a few bags of, like, white chocolate themed candies, and I've been nibbling on those. But I think my favorite ice cream flavors have to be the fruit ones. I'm a sucker for anything fruit favorite, honestly. Are we doing a tourney this month? I think we're gonna have to do it in the very beginning of December, once I have my setup fully done. I'll make sure to keep you posted on it, though. Or everybody posted, not just you. <laughs> like, because, like, I'm not going to have my full set up until after Thanksgiving weekend. And I want to make sure that I do it on a weekend. Because I don't want, I want as many people to be able to compete. So I think we'll do it, like, the first weekend of December. Because I think I want to make, like, a different overlay just for the Meggy Sports event. Like, you know the overlay we had on Saturday for the actual tourney? I kind of like that overlay. So... Yeah. Hi, Bay Brown. Easy! Three star gold trophy! I'm a sweat. I'm a bro. <clears throat> okay, I think it's time for online. I gotta practice against the real people in order to make myself look good again. I feel like I can't open Twitter outside of my house. What do you mean by that? What? <laughs> what? What are you looking at on Twitter, huh? Oh, okay, yeah, let's try online. Me's name is Cage. But with an I, not a Y. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is it back? Hold, hold, hold. Saved! Saved. We back, we back. Hey, yo. Chatter's prediction. Prediction has changed to top three. Do you think I will get top three? Oh, dude, I was trying to drift faster. Oh my god, end me! I'll catch up, Copium. Oh, so that Gamba machine noise is for the over on stream overlay I have. Like, you know, that shows up on the bottom right next to my face cam. I can't disable that sound because it's a third party extension overlay. So yes, you are hearing that sound. It only, that sound only captures when I play with headsets on. So that's why you don't hear it every time. I wish I could disable it, but I can't. I mean, if I learned how to code, I could learn to uncode it, but I don't know how to do that. Oh my God. So the class we're currently taking, we have to design um, app scenes and then a website layout and I was telling my dad about it and he's like well why don't you just make your own website and I was like well in order to do that you would kind of have to code because the software we're using is Adobe XD 
which has like the functions integrated. So I can as I assume you can upload your scenes and such to whatever website maker you want to do. But I don't know how to code. And he's like, well, you can just make your own like website and stream from there. But it's like you realize that people watch Twitch because it's an established platform. Like nobody's gonna watch me on some no-name platform. If I can't even get... Oh, okay. I was gonna say a lot. If you can't get, like, a decent handful of people to watch the Twitch livestream, it's like, he doesn't- he doesn't get it. Like, <clears throat> it's like, the people who are just like, oh, just- fuck! Who are like, just make a new app, easy. Yeah, exactly. Like, having my own domain, like, nobody would want to see that. They would be like, what is this website? I'm not gonna click on that weird link. Yeah, right. It wouldn't be profitable either. Holy! Game changing? Oh! <gasps> no way! <laughs> Dude, I'm correct. Dude, I'm correct. Hi, Crystal. Dude, I'm insane. Oh, we had no believers? Dude, no way. Dude. If we had one believer, they would have lost six- You could have gained 6,000 points. Guys. Guys. We need people on both sides of the predictions for this to work. I put in 6k- Oh, Titans, did you get that 6k back or did you lose it? Yeah, I've told the Etsy story before. It wasn't- I- I told it months ago when I was playing Animal Crossing, but the TikTok clip got re-uploaded about a month ago. I can't gamba. I need to save for a free sub. How many more points do you need? Or maybe we have any super nice Oilers who want to gift non-sub subs? Mod check? I was gonna say- Oh, you lost them? Wait, so they just go poof? 11k, I was seeing even 4 more k. Damn. Sad. I wasn't gonna say. I forgot. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, if we had our daily sub goal today, we'll do Quote to the Lamb. But I have a doctor's appointment, like, right after stream today, so... Not today. We'll do it tomorrow, if we hit our sub goal today. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna win this one. This is one of my better tracks. Easy. <laughs> I get fucked. Oh, wait. They threw the banana behind them right in time. You've been missing school because of stream? That's okay. You know, it do be like that. VODs will always be uploaded. Holy, I'm the first! <laughs> Not for long. I mean, like, I feel like I've been streaming more in general, so I haven't been able to watch as many streams myself, and I feel bad. I mean, like, definitely, like, losing the stream watch streak sucks. Because, like, I know sometimes for some streams, I'll open the stream, watch for five minutes, just so I can get that walk streak, that watch streak bonus. So I totally get it. Damn it! I, I dipped too early. Okay, top six. Still in the front. Oh my god, that motherfucker! That was good. I got you baited. Why would you throw a red shell behind you? That's literally a brain dead move. I'm in last place. Give me a bullet bell, please. Oh my fucking god. I'm on at least top six. I can do top six. No! Fuck 
fucking way. Come on! Dude, I got boomed. <clears throat> After I played Animal Crossing, I saw this track so differently. How so? I mean, it doesn't look like Animal Crossing New Horizons. It looks more like the older games. Damn it, I, I got so close. Nope. I didn't know 8th place was a number? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> of course it is. I'm resting my feet on the laptop charger and it's so warm. It feels nice. Hey, <laughs> Gage. <laughs> Guys, go gamble. Farm some channel points. Crystal, what you need to do is you need to debate Titans into gambling big so you gain 5k points in one prediction. Of course they got the double. Damn it! I can't have anything nice. Meg is literally rooting against me? Yeah, because you doubt all the time. I want to see you lose big. I want to say it. Easy. Top two. Okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> nice try. I don't. This ain't gonna help. I <laughs> get boomed. Dude, I can't catch up to them. Okay, they have a coin. Get fucked! <laughs> guys, 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 guys. If I get first, I'll give this up. I'll do it. No, no, no. No! <laughs> Fucking dumbass wannabe peach when I'm the real one. Right there. I still got second though. Fuck the doubters. <laughs> Dude, I was so close. It was in my grasp. I've lost 10k alone. How many channel points do you have left now, huh? 21. Dude, I got so close that time. You guys cannot tell me I'm bad at the game. Oh, shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to hit you guys. We're gonna beat them this time.
Dude, why even hit? Uh... Third? Let's fucking go. <laughs> I, I I fucked up. I thought I had it. Oh my god. I thought there was a, a bumper there. Lucio? No items, damn it. We don't talk about this one. All we do is we talk about the second place I just got, okay? That one does not go in my permanent record. It's gonna be wiped. People who make the weird me's. I feel like they're just begging for attention. You know, they give me real pick me vibes. Just saying. CC? This is gonna be hell. But it's a good chuckle? Yeah, it is. If I can get top three with 200 CC first, no way. Damn it! I had a pink drift and I ruined it. Okay, this 200 CC isn't that bad. Even though this is one of my weaker tracks. Oh, damn it. Shell. Holy, no way I'm in first. Okay. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I let go of the shell. That was dumb. It's down here. It's down. It's downhill. It's over.
Guys, I'm gaming, I'm gaming. No way. I just got first in a 200cc game on like one of my bottom three tracks. No way. I mean, I think it's because I wasn't talking. <laughs> like legitimately, I was trying. Well, you know what that means. Chat gets one sub. Wowie. Top three. Dude, I got first. Impossible. Okay, let's see who's gonna get that. Oh shit! Who's gonna get that sub? Uh. Hope my laptop isn't dead. She's alive. We'll do the next rest. I can't doubt if you keep playing. Well, then start believing, huh? You know, the title is I Need to Redeem Myself. And it seems like I'm doing so. Uh, of course he's got a red shell, so even if I try and pass him. <laughs> Dude, that was such a bad turn. You know what else is pretty bad? Watching ads. I have to, ru I have to run an ad after this race. Fuck me! Sorry, I got mad. I, I have to start cursing less. I watch back the VODs and I curse way too much when I play Mario Kart. I need to tone it down. I remember when I was younger, I used to be so opposed to cursing when I heard there was a swear word in Maroon 5's payphone. I denied it because I'd only heard the radio version. But now I don't care because I think cursing is funny. <laughs> Get boomed! <laughs> Easy third! Guys, I'm a pro. Only 10 people? Okay, the odds of me getting top three were greater. Okay, let's see who's gonna get the sub. Oops. Hey, why was that not working? <laughs> Lumbo. <laughs> ignore that message. Ignore, ignore. Okay, now the pop up's working. Okay, let's see who's gonna get the sub. Oh, Dreams got it. Yay! Wowie. Dreams was one of the hosts of the tournament. Hey, yo! Thank you for that gifted sub, Titans. I appreciate that, hon. Thank you. Wait, guys, we're close to hype trade artificially because I gifted all my alt. But if we have one more person, one more guy, one more generous chatter, subscribe. Um, cheer bits or give the sub, then we'll get a hype train. Fuck after run ads. <laughs> uh, after this race, after this race. Any gifters? Also, if anybody cheers 100 bits, I have TTS enabled. I've given it 25, that's crazy. Yeah, you have a new batch now. You wanna know how many subs I've gifted in my own channel? Over a hundred. That means I've invested thousands in streaming equipment and then literally hundreds in gifted subs. You guys can't say that I don't care.
Aw, oh, dude, I fucked up that line. God damn. I'm still in fourth, though. That's not too bad. Like and subscribe to the new PC Nundus Core Beat Saber channel. <laughs> oh, I do not have a Beat Saber channel. Don't be spreading misinformation. But thank you, Titans, for the 100 bits. Thank you. I'm glad. Did, did you guys hear the TTS? Did it work? Yeah, so y'all have fun with that. Oh, right at the last. That was unfortunate. I went for the ramp, and then I got blasted when I was going through the sword. Big sad. I have to go home cry dad now. Man, such a sharp contrast to last lap. I'm in ninth. sad you know what else is sad having to watch ads because guys we are an hour into stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars if you're an sub and you want to be a part of the hype train just subscribe easy um after the ad we'll do more mario kart so if you don't want to miss a single second subscribe get some water get a snack we'll see some of you guys in a few we have one minute left in that hype train. If we can get one more person to donate, then we'll have a level one hype train. Yeah, I was opposed to um, TTS for a while, but honestly, if it's gonna encourage more people to donate, then I kind of need that right now. Um, and also, um, when you enable TTS for bits, I think the messages still have to follow your auto mod settings. So if someone tries to set a, say a bad word, it shouldn't go through if it's part of your auto mod settings. And then for TTS through like stream elements and stream labs, I use elements for TTS. And then um, stream labs for the on screen alerts that are in the bottom left. Because it's all fully integrated and coded. And they're like fully customizable. Um, what else? <clears throat> Cause like my biggest concern was like moderation. But with cheering, now that they announced that there's no more anonymous cheering, and then for elements like you can bla blacklist certain words. Oh, I got all three right there, dude! <laughs> that was crazy. I got robbed. Stream elements is shilling. Yeah. I mean, I get so many like sponsorship offers through stream elements, but they're kind of not worth Kind of a scam, IMO. Because basically a lot of the programs they offer are just affiliate links. Kind of D-U-M. Because like, I was thinking about it. Oh! Dude saved at the last second! Like if you're gonna get sponsored and you're gonna shill a product, you have to make at least a few hundred to a few thousand guaranteed depending on what your audience size is. Cause it's- Dude, that motherfucker! Cause like, if you're streaming to like, let's say 50 viewers, how many of those 50 viewers- let, Let's see, you're, you're probably gonna get like a few hundred unique viewers in said stream. How many of those viewers are actually gonna buy the product? That's why like, those sponsorship offers are not good. Cause the company knows you're maybe only gonna sell like, maybe 1%. 
max 10% of your audience to buy the product. That's why it's like, I don't really want to take any sponsorships, even if it's like affiliate links, until I have a pretty decent platform. Dude, I'm in 8th! Uh... Wait, 6th? Get boomed? I'll take a 6th, because honestly... Excite Bike is trash. And looking back, I realized that I chose this track. So don't blame me. Oh, once again, thank you, Titans, for that gifted sub and the bits. You are going to get your name written at the end of stream. Look like your free journal. Thank you. Thank you, hon. Oh, and that was your first gifted sub for the month, so you got bonus channel points. You can earn back some of what you lost today. <laughs> anyway, go Gamba, go Gamba. I think I want to change my Mii's face. Because see the guy bottom right with the black cap? I like the half, like, the half-shaped sunken in eyes. Oh boy. Nothing like the slow, slow climb again in those back. I know. Well, if you watch every stream and keep it open and manually collect the channel points, I'm sure you'll get it back in, what, a month? I mean, you gotta gamble big to win big, so. Wait, is this 200? This feels like 200. I didn't see, it's not 200, but it feels like it. Ah! Dude, that guy was stream sniping. How dare they? I mean, it is pretty like impressive when people will blast you with a banana when they throw it in front of you. Very impressive, but it's still not fun. The only thing I can compare it to is like when you're actually driving and you have to avoid when like something falls off the back of like someone's tow truck because they didn't tie it properly. Oh my god! Again! Why are people sweating? Another star? Hey yo! Wait, the reaction time? Yeah. Honestly, I reacted pretty well. But it's not often that I'm able to. They usually get me. Dude, so many stars. <gasps> Game changing? Another one? Holy. Top four? No way, no way, no way. Oh, damn it. Too late. Dude, that was a comeback. Fourth place? Man, they had a string where, like, there were two lightning bolts in, like, five seconds. That was a crazy match. I performed well, but not well enough for the believers. I'm sorry.
The only reason why I didn't pick Mushroom Gorge is because I need to practice the other checks. So I think I have Mushroom Gorge down now, basically. That was the track that I almost got first in. That I was robbed. It's weird actually being able to hear the music when I'm playing the game. Because I, I used to play with earbuds, but then my earbuds broke, so I usually would just listen to my TV audio. But now that I'm playing with headsets, I can hear like every little sound of the music, and it's super nice. The reason why I usually don't wear headsets for stream, because wearing them for long periods of time does make it like uncomfortable. And I notice that I talk like way too loud when I do wear the headsets, because I don't have like the audio feedback to where I can hear myself talk. And I think I look weird with headsets on, personally. But maybe I'll try it for more streams now. Because, you know, the cliche of, oh, the gamer with headsets on, that's the only way people can tell you're a gamer. Dude, I literally had it that whole race. Dude, the way that Peach is like crying when she puts her hand over her mouth, I just think she's gonna yank. Like, she's so upset to the point where she's gonna throw up. Dude, I literally had it. I should never play this game again. I think all the little advertisements- Fuck, I can't talk! I think all the little advertisements they have along the edge of the tracks on some levels is a really cute touch. Like, I know people talk about, oh, the attention to detail. Like, how when you play a horror game and you when you actually click on the notes it has something written down. But I think it just adds to the immersion to some level. And like a lot, I feel like a lot of the ads are puns, and I really, I really enjoy puns a lot. Call me basic, but I love a good dad joke. So I think they're clever.
Dude, why isn't he throwing that red shell? Oh, guy in first has a red. Dude! Mother brickers! Wait, how to get what? Dude, I had third. How to get fifth? How? Huh? It's not fair. I had it and then I didn't have it. Look at me, like, checking my watch, like, where's everybody at? Mod check? Wait, how many points did I have? I had, like, six, six. I had four sixes, I think. Almost was super close to a bad number. Dude, actually being able to hear the cows now is crazy. Projection. Oh, they have another one? What? Okay, still top three. So look at Lincoln last. They're struggling. No way! I think another thing I need to focus on is making sure I get as many double item boxes as, as I can. Oh my god. It seems like a lot of these races are coming up to like the last lap. Like it doesn't matter how well you do in the start. It doesn't matter how well you do in the second lap. But lap three is imperative.
And me checking my watch again. I keep on getting so many scam emails in my inbox and I don't know if it's because like I've clicked on certain links in the past or if it's just a matter of like maybe it's some cookies that had my email information or something but it's always from like oh like a big brand company like it's from like Home Depot or Bed Bath & Beyond They're like oh you won our giveaway but when you like Cause you know how when you like see a notification on your phone and you like drag it down you can see the text of the email? There's never any sub like text in the email, it's just the where it's from and then the email title. And obviously you should never open those emails, similar to like if you get a text from an unknown number. But I'm like, why am I getting so many? I don't get it. And it's weird because like it's the email I use for school and it's a separate school email. I don't get why, why I'm getting so much spam. And even if you mark it as spam, it still goes through. I don't get it. Fourth, I'll take it. And a lot of like the text will be like, Oh, you want a hundred dollars, and it's like, Cool, or it's like, We have an offer just for you. I think so. Somebody disconnected. Wait, let me delete this prediction real quick. Sorry. And somebody DC'd. Sad. Do I get the points? <gasps> Sad. I guess I have to change characters anyway. Let's try Yoshi. Let's do a different color. Christmas colors, red and green. You're spectating. Oh, that was quick. Wait, I'm back with that guy. I recognize the meat. That was the guy who got first, like, every time. I don't want to race with them. Dude, that guy will not stop saying, what a shame. I think they're a little bit salty. Like, 
They're not stopping. What happened? Oh no. Oh my god! Dude. I hate being in the center. Them. That would have been crazy. I love the music in this track. It's so soothing. What I do like about Mario Kart is that the speed of the music increases in lap 3. It, to me, it makes you subtly more anxious, <laughs> but I think it's a really cool design touch. Because, like, I feel like Mario Kart music in general is always hype, but when it speeds up, it's, like, crazy. Damn. If I had gotten a better item, I could have gotten third. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I want to do Mario Kart Stadium again. Surprisingly fun. Jerk!
Okay, what I want to try and focus on for the remaining races we have today, I want to try and get as many coins as I can. Fourth. Ooh, star in fourth. Nice. Dude, he stole all the items. I just can't have anything nice, can I? A few weeks ago, I blocked the word food on TikTok. That way less videos of food came on my For You page. But now, videos that still have food in them will still pop up because they don't have the hashtag. So for example, if it's a video about cake, they only tag hashtag cake. And I've been getting so many cake videos on my feed. And I really want to learn how to decorate Kate's, but it's a very expensive hobby to get into. Because I know I want to bake more once we move out. But I know I shouldn't be making sweets every week. I think I do want to go all out for Christmas though. Like, I want to make themed cake pops and cookies. I think that'd be really fun. Adam. I really want to make muffins though. I've been craving them. Do we both have protection? Never mind. Oh, I still got me. Didn't break it time. <laughs> Get boomed. Nice try. But why did they go for the double? Oh, I should have waited. I didn't see what, if they had protection or not. Really on lap two, I'm doing pretty good. Actually cracked POV. Oh, I forgot to wait and see again. Okay, first has a bomb. I fucked 
I should have waited till I could see in front of me. Maybe I'll get I'll get good arms, I'll get good. Oh, it's too late. Damn, that was good. That was a really good race. But I got second. Guys, I think I'm getting good. When I play when I play with people my skill level, I do really good. Ooh, mirror mode. Okay, this is surprisingly difficult in mirror mode because I've just now realized I have all the normal lines memorized. Okay, I have to focus. I I can't. Mirror mode is so trippy. First as a red. Oh my God, stop. Oh, I wanted to try and get him with the banana. Damn, I wasted. I wanted to look cool. This is what happens when you try and show off. It doesn't work. I still could have been in top three. Damn, that was a mistake. Mm-mm. I'll never show off again. I won't do it. Ooh, DK Jungle, first time today. Does nobody like DK Jungle? Literally, no one else picked it. It's my favorite. That was close! Damn. 
Damn, damn, damn. I've always seen the people who wear sunglasses indoors as weird. Because why would you wear something that impairs your vision? I don't get it. I know the cliche is like, ooh, wearing sunglasses indoors are cool, but I, I, I don't get how it's cool. Like, when I was in middle school, I think that's when shutter shades were popping off. Like, you know, the plastic frames that have holes in them? I remember those were like very nice. Or when people would take the 3D glasses home from the theater, like the ones that look like sunglasses, like they would wear them as part of their outfits. That was also the trend too. I mean, I think it's just quirky, but it's weird. And I think the trend now is like the weirdly shaped or colored sunglasses. I kind of get it like if it matches your fit, but similar to normal sunglasses, they're gonna impair your vision. I don't get it. I mean, I think it's because, like, I wear normal glasses, so I can't wear sunglasses anyway. Like, it's just, it's just not worth. Like, even when I go out about, I can't wear normal sunglasses because I need prescription. But the prescription glasses to wear, like, they change, like, shades in the light, it's kind of bad, too. Because you can't necessarily, like, manually control when they turn into the sunglasses. Dude, I fell off hard. Oh no, I was trying going for dude, I was going for a tatter line, it didn't work. Damn. Oh, Yoshi's still happy though. He's cheering. I just realized I haven't played Animal Crossing in a week. Uh oh. <laughs> Cause I think the last time I played was the day after the Aurora hunting stream we did last week. Damn. My island's probably a mess. Oh my god, it's my course! The thing I miss about older games, or like more retro type games, is that I feel like their graphics more, were more bright and colorful. Too many games nowadays are too realistic. Like, I hate a lot of like console games, because it's just like dark and gloomy, it's too real. You know, I play games for escapism. I don't want it to be dark and gloomy like my IRL life. I w I live in Washington. It never, s <laughs> it's never sunny here. I think that's why I gravitate a lot towards like Nintendo, because a lot of the games are happier, color palettes and environments are a bit brighter. Wait, I think this is 200 CC. 
No way this isn't. This, this is crazy. crazy that's another first baby guys I'm actually correct damn that race went by so quickly I'm not even like registering look at me with a crown on my head mm-hmm look they're leaving they got so mad They're like, I can't believe peace in underscore 17 got first. I mean, honestly, I got super lucky with those mushrooms at the end. Or we could just say it's all pure raw skill. The guy's name is Chubby. <laughs> oh my god, stop! The guy was ramming me last race too. Wasn't even into that box. Can do pretty good third. Dude, actually snapping. Aw, oh, damn. That guy got robbed a second. Damn. They're probably molding right now.
Okay, I think we got time for like three more races because we're about two hours in. Oh, finally, Paris Promenade. We haven't played that one yet today. I feel like a lot of people like blue, because there's seven people who have blue me's right now. I feel like if you like blue, that's a basic ass color. Because people are like, I like blue because I like the sky, or I like the ocean. Like, not creative. I don't like this course. It's bad. today. Everybody keeps ruining my fun. Well, that top path is so much easier. I didn't realize. Ahead. That was kind of silly. I used to never go for this upper path because the turn was a bit too sharp, but it's not as bad. Maybe I've gotten better at the game. Look him in first? No way. Can we in stream with another first in our belt? God. I had it. I was so close. I swear my controller is broken. That's why my button inputs aren't working. It's busted. I don't like any of those. Those are all bad tracks. Okay, this is gonna be our second to last race of the day, so second to last chance for Gambit. And then we're gonna do Animal Crossing.
It is very nice hearing everybody in the stands cheer for you on the scrag. But it doesn't make me feel any better. Out of all the tracks in the game, the second one being Baby Park, this one is the worst to play with a full lobby. Because you just get bombarded with items the whole time. Maybe they have that cheering sound to make you feel a little bit better so you don't rage quit the, the game every time you get this map. so far behind. Actually, oh, I'm in fifth now. I had like third for half a second. Let me get close to somebody. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I meant to press X. <laughs> Get boomed. Oh, I still got fifth. Damn. Okay, at least I came back from last. Okay, this is gonna be our last race of the day. So, last opportunity to gambit. Wow, so many people picked Toad Circuit. I know it's a simple track, but I like it a lot. Ooh, mirror mode 150. This will be an interesting way to close it out. Screw, they keep ramming everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I was feeling evil. <laughs> oh! Somebody ricocheted with the red shell. I could have gone the guy in first. Damn. Soiled it. Oh, they got boomed in the air. Nice try. <gasps> God, it's here, Adam. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot to get me. Okay, dude. Are they trying to get me with a banana? Nice try. Dude, Luigi's right on my ass. That's our third first place today. 
man. See? I told y'all. I'm good at this game. I think I successfully redeemed myself today. Three first place? And a good handful of top three in online? I'm gonna win the next tournament I'm in. I'll say it now. I'll say it now. <laughs> you know what else I have to say? That is time for ads, baby. We are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. After the ad, we're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing. I also need to use the restroom, so we're gonna be in emo only mode shortly. So let me change the title and change out the game real quick. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something funny. Hmm. <laughs> no, never. Guess what I've. <laughs> Or, no. I, the thing I'm writing is, you'll never guess what happened, but it's like, I feel like people can be like, what happened? And it's like, I'm nothing. I'm out. Hmm. I can't think of anything funny. Am I not funny anymore? Yes, yeah, so at least change the category, and I'll ponder a title. Okay, titles change. We're in emote only mode for a little bit, and I'll turn the overlay on. That way, you guys can see the emotes on screen. Or it should be popping up. Oh, there they are. So spam as much as you want. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick.
I was muted the whole time. Lamo. <laughs> Oopsie. I haven't done that in a long ass time. Oopsie. VOD watchers in shambles. <laughs> Holy. Guys, I'm a pro. Any lip readers? Could anybody tell what I was saying? <laughs> wow. I love when the seasons change. It's so pretty. I think fall is my favorite season as well, IRL. Because just the contrast of the orange leaves against the water and then the sky, it's beautiful. I would go and walk more just to admire the scenery this time of year, but it's way too cold. I know some parts of Washington right now in November are getting snow. It's crazy. Okay, let's see what 
I need to do. I kind of want to buy some things first before I forget. Ooh, mushrooms? Oh, I thought there was something behind the tree. Now, I haven't been playing offline as much. Because, like, as of recent, I've just been chilling. Holy, that's a lot of money. Okay, let's see what they got today. Why would somebody wear this? Like, genuinely? It's not flattering. It looks like you're wearing a blanket. Not a good look. Cute idea, but I would never wear it. Thank you for the Lurk Titans. The one thing I am kind of excited about since we're moving during holiday is that we can basically do all of our shopping for appliances and like house things that we need during Black Friday. So we're going to get a lot of stuff probably at like 80% of the normal cost, which is really nice. I want a desk like that, but I feel like it wouldn't have a lot of leg room. You know, I like moving around. Dude, a thousand dollars for this cheap ass plastic chair? Crazy. And she was too stunned to speak. My storage is almost full. Hmm. Okay. I need to grab more Nook Miles, of course. Okay, so this one, we're gonna min max. Let's search for the wolf or the dwarf roach. Oh, leaf! Damn it. And then get some coffee and sell shit. Easy. Ooh, big fish. I think it's so funny when they plop down. That's what our pet rabbit would do too. Like, because <laughs> like they can't stand, right? So he would just be like this, go toop, on his side. Kind of like how horses do. It's funny. I'm so excited to cat sit next month, though. I really hope the cat likes me. That's what I'm kind of scared about. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Most cats that I've interacted with at, like, friends' or family's houses, they've all liked me. 
But I dread the day when a cat hates me. I think it's because we didn't have like a cat or a dog when we were young when we were younger. So I never really played or rough housed with cats or dogs. So I'm usually like pretty gentle. Like I'm totally fine if the cat sits on my lap for like two hours. I would love that actually. It's like a portable heater. Ma check dwarf roach? No eye. Hi, Kobobo. I didn't update the command because I don't have any more secrets. But welcome in, hun. I was like brainstorming things last night in bed of what I could change it to. And all I could think of was gross things. Like, for example, like, I was gonna put I used to eat my scabs, but I feel like every kid does that at some point, right? You've never seen that secret before? Ayo. Like, I legitimately can't think of anything new. I mean, I, I could make this secret just be like, I'm gay. <laughs> And I feel like that's a bit too much. You know, I'm technically not. I am bi. But. Uh, <laughs> ah, we should leave him be. This is what you get. You stay deserted forever. I don't want to go deep sea diving. Honestly, I hate the deep sea diving missions. It's so boring. But you know, it isn't boring. Watching ads. Nah, it's not ad time yet. Can you imagine? Dude, this deep blue is so pretty. I can't get over it. I still think the prettiest parts of the game is when the cherry blossoms bloom, and then winter. Okay, let's get some coffee. <gasps> I just realized now that it's nearing Thanksgiving, it's almost Christmas, so now they'll sell eggnog at the store. Okay, that's kind of dangerous now that I think about it. Because it's genuinely, like, so bad for you. It's so much sugar. But, like, I could legitimately, if I really want to, I could have, like, a whole, like, 24-ounce cup of eggnog in one sitting and be happy and be fine. But I know I shouldn't. Out of all the holiday themed foods, I think eggnog has to be the best. Because, like, it's literally just a milkshake. That's all it is. Or, like, you're guzzling down melted ice cream. It's amazing. Apple cider's fine. I don't mind it. I think it's because I don't like hot drinks. I, I used to love hot cocoa a lot, but then... You know how when you get, like, the powdered drinks and you don't mix them all the way? And it tastes, like, gritty? I don't like it anymore. I think it's because I've become so accustomed to drinking just water. Like, to myself, I was like, you know, I'm gonna have a long day today. 
Because, like, I got a stream, and then I got to walk to the doctors and such later today. I was like, maybe I should try and make, like, an energy drink. Because, like, we have, like, powder juices, and one of them is, like, a dragon fruit energy drink. I was like, maybe I should have one of those, but I was going to make it. I was like, nah. I'm not feeling it. Because I try and shave, I try and save, like, non- water drinks for when I go out. So otherwise, I'd be drinking energy drinks all day. Because, like, I've learned that it's not necessarily I enjoy the taste. It's, like, I need something to pass the time. I think that's a big reason why people, like, binge eat or snack as well. Like, they just eat when they're bored. That's similar with drinking. That's why, like, I'd rather just drink water. Like, getting it for a little special treat is fine. But that's why I usually reserve it for when I go out. Like, maybe today I can get, like, a bubble tea if they're still open. But bubble teas are so expensive. Like, even, like, the cheapest ones in my area start at, like, $6. And a lot of the places, it makes sense that they charge extra for toppings, like the pearls or gummies or whatever. But it's still like a dollar per scoop. And you know it does not cost them a dollar. It probably costs them like two cents for that whole scoop because they buy the stuff in bulk, right? I, it just feels like I'm scamming myself when I get toppings. I love your jacket. Thank you. And welcome in, Fry. I was talking to my friend. Because, like, we usually hang out, like, every other weekend at this point. And usually, like, we'll hang out. We'll hang out in, like, the downtown. Get some food. But we're, bo we're both broke now, okay? We're both, like... <laughs> don't have a lot of money, which is fine. And they were saying, they were like, oh, you know, I don't really want to hang out because, you know, we can't go out to eat or we can't buy things. So I was like, well, I'm literally fine with just loitering in the McDonald's lobby for three hours. I'm literally fine with that. Because I feel like that's what most, most young people do anyway. Yes, I'm 23. But it's like, I don't care. I'm very much the type of person to enjoy, like, quality time rather than physical things. Like, I don't need presents, I don't need gifts, I just want people to, like, talk to me or hang out. Downtown is the best aesthetic, yeah. And, like, my downtown, it's kind of like... I was gonna say retro, but that's not the word. It's like, it has like a lot of antique shops, so it's really fun just to walk through like the antique shops they have. Oh shit. Drop it. Okay, let's go unload. No wharf. Wait. Dwarf roaches just yet. Our downtown area is really small though, and there's always like a lot of old people. It's because like... I still live in a very populous town, but, like, a lot of the families here have lived there their whole lives. So it's usually, like, the grandparents, the kids, and the grandkids live in town still. It's kind of wild. I mean, that's how I feel like most, like, non-big city towns are, though. Like, I was looking at the definition of a small town. And a small town is anything less than, like, having a population of 50,000 or something. And I was thinking, I was like, that's still, like, a lot. I mean, granted, it depends on, like, how big, like, the square mileage of your town is, but I was like, damn. Like, I feel like my town is crowded as fuck. <laughs> but it's still, like, by definition, a small town. It's weird. Or a small city. City versus town. Back. 
Hi, hacker. Oh, no. I live in a big city and it feels so small. I mean, I kind of get that sentiment because I feel like it all depends on, like, who you interact with, right? Because, like, if you only interact with, like, your schoolmates or, like, your immediate circle of family and friends, like, it's gonna be small. Like, whenever I go out shopping or doing errands, there's so many people out and about. There's so many cars. Like... I don't feel like I live in a small city. I think it's like, cause like it also concer concerns like population, like per capita wise. And like when I was filling out my ballot, cause like obviously when you vote, um, you can vote for like local representatives and then like state, county, and then city. What would you call them like rules or something like where they're like oh should we tax this group more like that type of shit and like when i was filling out my battle it it's like oh there'll be like a one percent or like a point one percent increase on property tax and then it outlined like how much more revenue it would generate and it was saying like an additional one billion dollars by the year 2030 and it's like holy to think like just that little increase generates that much money is crazy. I mean, like, it does add up. But then, like, I was also thinking, I was like, where does the money go? Hmm? It's like, how are schools being not funded? Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, New York, like, I've never been to New York. My fa Some of my family has. My dad grew up there. And even though there's so many people, going back to the point of where you, if you don't interact outside your circle, it can be, feel very isolating. I think it also could be, like, people don't necessarily want to meet new people. And I feel like a lot of people have that sentiment. Like, even I myself, I'm kind of scared, like, once I'm out of college, like, how am I going to meet new people? Because, like, if you look at middle-aged people, the only way you meet somebody is, like, at your kid's PTA meeting or something. And that's not going to happen because I'm not going to have kids, right? I mean, I guess you could, like, volunteer or, like, meet up with coworkers, but how do you meet new people? And I'm also not social. I very much do better with like one-on-one -on -one interactions. Like if I'm talking to one person, I'm good. But when there's three, including me, I feel like I have to give the other two people more attention to share what they want to say. On the first day of middle school, I cried all. Was it just like, cause it was overwhelming? I mean, I think the change from going from elementary to middle school is crazy. Because with elementary, I know for our district, like for classes, you would probably stay with your one teacher. And then maybe you would switch classes with the fourth grade teacher so they could teach like math or something. But going from elementary to junior high, like I felt like I could handle it. But still, like, I think the most overwhelming part of, like, middle or high school is passing period. Like, just having to get through the crowds of kids in the hallway. And it's like, you're packed way tighter than sardines. And, like, our school didn't have lockers, so our hallways were as big as they could be, but it was still so crowded. And also, like, getting in and out of the doors... Like, where you're, like, shoving each other trying to get out or in. It was scary. Like, I remember I would be the kid that would hold the door open because I'd be, like, too scared to, like, push my way through. Or just wait for everybody else to get in.
it's funny because my degree is technically a computer science degree because it's like a graphic design, right? But I don't know if I necessarily want to work in the art field. I think it'd be fun. But just looking at jobs, like when I was looking up like library positions to where they're getting 30 an hour. I think that'd be a lot easier. Or I think to be a flight attendant, you have to have an associate as well. So like I could be a flight attendant. Like dude, imagine I live out my mid-twenties traveling. That'd be sick. Because that's what my mom did. Like, I think she worked at an airline's right before she had me. So she was able to, like, travel herself. She was able to, like, give free trips to her parents as well. Like, granted, I feel like that type of lifestyle wouldn't be as stable or consistent, but I feel like it'd be fun. I don't know, we'll see. Because, like, with graphic design, you can basically work for any company. Yeah, I feel like a cruise line would be kind of fun as well. But then I don't know how to swim, so if it sinks, I'm going down with the ship. Oh, we're full. Damn. Ooh, announcement? Oh, birthdays. I don't care about birthdays. <laughs> I think very few cruise ships sink. I hope they're durable. I mean, but then it's also kind of like saying, I don't, I think very few planes crash. Yeah, I kept your guys' notes on the board. It's cute. Okay, let's sell some shit. I'm a hoarder. Oh my god. I have a problem. There's definitely way more plane crashes than ship sinking. I guess. I mean, you only really hear about it if it's in the news, right? I mean, I went on a cruise one time and it seemed pretty safe. But I was a little naive at 12 year old, so I was probably clueless. Okay, I think offline I need to work on... Dude, my inventory is so fucked. I need to make some more crafting recipes so I can get lots of money. That way I can buy whatever I want. Yeah, I agree. When I was on the cruise ship, I literally didn't feel it like rocking at all. It just felt like a, a mobile hotel. It was a very nice experience. That I probably will never experience again because it's expensive. Because my mom... Um... She was put on, like, the mailers list. So she gets, like, an advertisement, like, every month. For, like, the cruise line we went on. So she can help my, like, grandma plan her trip when she wants to go again. Because you gotta, like, plan those shit, like, a year in advance, right? But my grandma hasn't traveled since pandemic because she's older she's 96 so it's not necessarily as safe for her to travel you went on a cruise ship yeah when i was little my grandma paid for it because <laughs> she's rich uh, the only reason why she's rich okay when i say rich we don't get any of it okay i when i say rich i mean like she's like higher middle class because 
She invested a lot of her money that she had when she was younger. So she has like a fat stack set aside. She doesn't touch it though. But if she wants to go somewhere, if she wants to buy something, she can easily afford most anything. Anyway. Yeah, smart, yeah. I mean, like... I don't know if I'd invest. Because, like, I'm very much the type of person to where, like, if I have the money, I can see it, it's mine. And I feel like investing, at its core, is kind of like gambling, right? Because you don't necessarily what will sell or what will do well. I mean, obviously there's going to be companies that are going to be present for tens of years, right? That'll probably be around and hopefully raise value. But I don't want to invest to lose my money. And I feel like people who invest, that's all they think about. Like, how well their stocks are doing, how well their investments are doing. No more axe. Let's go grab it. I forgot to grab some. You know, instead of investing in companies, I'm investing money into myself and my happiness. Yeah, if you're worried about, like, spending your money that's in a savings account, I know some banks offer programs to where, like, they will basically lock, like, 5 to 10k to where you can't touch it for, like, a year or however long you want to lock it for. And it gains, like, a different amount of interest. It's interesting. Like, back when I had... Because when I was working, like, so many hours, I saved, like, literally all my money. So there was a point in time where I had like 30,000 saved, right? But then obviously like I put a lot of my savings towards paying off my student loans and then just like paying my day-to-day -day expenses when I was able to. Uh, back when I had that much money saved, anytime I went to the bank, they're like, hey, do you want to set aside 10k for three years and never touch it but get better interest? Because essentially those programs, it's meant for like Okay, because how banks work is that they shuffle everybody's money around. That's why they like the big boy. They like the rich people. Because that means they have more money to play with. So, that's why they offer, like, a different interest rate for people who are able to basically give them money to move around if you're not going to withdraw. Yeah, my, the interest rates that I got, that I was offered, were very low, so it's kind of not worth. And, like, look where I'm at now, not working, to where I would not have been able to lock money for three years. So, you just have to look and project what you can't afford, or what you might need to withdraw for the upcoming years. Because, like, when you're not working, your money goes fast, is what I learned. <laughs> Like, if you got nothing coming in, you don't see it go up often. <laughs> like, I'm not too concerned. Like, hopefully my disability will be approved and I'll be fine. something that I really don't like are like the payday loan type companies where they offer you like a temporary loan. A lot of people use them and they don't realize the negative consequences they could have. For y'all who don't know, there's different types of credit scores. Like all those companies advertising like, oh, we'll instantly bump your credit score. All you got to do is sign up or get a card with us. Like, those ones that aren't associated with, like, national banks. Like, kind of the more independent firms. Those contribute to a different credit score. So, if you think you're building your score to, like, bump your score that contributes to, like, getting a house or a car 
it's a different score, so it doesn't count. And withdrawing, like a temporary loan or a payday loan, not from your bank, they don't affect your score when you withdraw. Like, they don't affect it in a positive way either. And if you don't pay it back on time, it actually affects your legitimate credit score. And they typically have a higher interest rate if you don't pay it back right away. So it's kind of not worth. Always try to see if you can get a personal loan through your actual bank and credit union. You pay off your car the day you make purchases? That's not the best either. Like, credit card debt is funny. It's kind of weird, right? Because your credit score is essentially an assessment on how, um, how you're able to withpay your debt. Like, how you're able to handle like, being in debt. So what I do... Let's say, for example, my credit card is due every month on the 25th. So, of course, it's going to take a few days for you to process paying your payment. So, um, if I, I typically will make purchases up to a week before my credit card is due. So, if it's due on the 25th, I stop making purchases on, like, the 18th. Because, obviously, like, transactions are processed, processed at different rates. So, that way, by the time the 25th comes around... All the purchases I made are processed properly and show up on my report. Um, and then I usually pay off the amount that I owe like five days before. So I stop making purchases on the 18th and then I repay everything in full on the 20th. So about five days before. Um, using this method, because if you're making purchases up from like the first of the month until the 18th, then it shows that you were in debt for two weeks. But you were able to pay off that debt in full before your amount is due. Because if you do the thing where, um, let's say on the second, I buy a smoothie for eight bucks. And then I pay back that eight bucks right away when I get home. It doesn't, it shows that transaction on your credit report, right? But it doesn't register as you being in debt for long enough. So, it's best to just budget out what you can spend for a whole month using your credit card and then paying it all in full a little bit before the due date. I know, it's like confusing and they don't really explain it to you in school. And I know when I applied for my credit card, I did it online so I didn't get to talk to an associate and it's really confusing, but you just have to make sure you pay it back in full and only... Spend on your credit card, but you can pay back every month. Because I think the credit card I got was, it was 0% interest rate on late payments for the first two years. And then now it's 18%. Because I was a new card holder up until last year. So if I don't pay back my credit card in full every month, then it's 18% APR. In different rates, they're compounded either like annually, yearly. You just have to read the terms of service of your card. Go to Anime NYC, eh? Yeah. Hi, Nix. That sounds like a good time. Welcome in, hon. Are you gonna cosplay or no? Yeah, because my credit score is pretty decent. Because I, I've had it for... Holy. Like, five years now? My score is pretty decent. Because I've never been late on a payment. I almost was late this month. I was short $5. <laughs> so I was scrambling. I was like, fuck, I need five bucks. But we're good. My sister loaned me $5 so I could pay off my card in time. But, yeah, like, it's been consistently at, like, a really good score. The only reason why I don't have, like, an 800 is because of my student loan debt. Sag. You're too scared to cosplay in public? 
See, like, I would cosplay. And not to self-report, but when we went to the convention, um, next month, or last month, like, you know the people who dress, like, really, um, let's say, scandalous? Dude, they're- I wish I could be that confident to dress like that and cosplay in public. I wish I could. I thought paying off debt makes it higher. Yeah. Y you want the credit score to be higher, but it depends on, like, the window and what you have the debt for. <laughs> I feel like student loans shouldn't be allowed to affect your credit file. Uh... I agree, but that's not feasible. Because, like, it makes sense because, like, student loan is debt. So it makes sense that it's all cumulative. I think the bad thing, in actuality, is how predatory student loans are to people who are either minors going into college, like 17-year-olds, or very young adults, like 18 to 20. When they don't necessarily understand the weight of the loans they're taking. Like, thankfully, I was able to get, like, a lot of grants. I paid off some of my loans while I was in school. So I think I have about, like, 25000 left. But if the Biden... Hey, yo! Thank you, Mac, for that resub. Thank you. For the prime, no way. Thank you, Mac. You're gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you. But welcome in. Uh, also, what was I gonna say? Oh, if the Biden stood alone repayment thing goes through, then basically all my current debt will be eradicated. And that's like pretty cool. You only have 10K, lucky bitch. <laughs> I mean, that's because like, I took out everything that I needed at the start. Like I took out like 40K right from the start of my uh, degree program. So I didn't, um, I didn't have to apply for, like, loans every year. <laughs> Mac, come to NYC with me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's just like a hop, skip, and a jump away, right? All of New York is technically New, New York. I can't talk. Okay, I should deposit some of this money, huh? It was crazy. Uh, my grandma lives in Hawaii, right? And... When I go visit her... It's literally like a two-hour bus ride to get around the whole island. It's crazy. How, like, accessible the whole island is. You know nothing about anime? What? Huh? I only like it because it makes this tape blue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, the densely populated cities came in clutch. Oh, I only did 120,000. There we go. Just got home from work. Nice. I'm still at work. We can consider streaming work. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I meant to do shopping. How many of these do I need?
There was... Wasn't there, like, an ordinance on the Oregon ballot to where some of them wanted to secede and join Idaho? No, it... No, they ran a poll. It was either a poll or there was, like, an ordinance that didn't pass, of course. Where some of Oregon was like, Let's be part of Idaho! <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Yeah, the only ordinance we had on our ballot were just taxes. So nothing crazy. Okay, I think we can end off with doing a quick little stretch. Everybody, get up. Stand up. I never stand up and do the stretches. I think it's cringe. It's time for group stretching! Wait, Tom Nook's sweatshirt kind of good though. It's kind of fine. I'm a saw what a sake. Oh, perfect! Oh, dude, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I hate how Brewster looks. Why? I think it's fine. It does look weird because it only looks like he's wearing an apron. That is kind of sus. Whoa! Dude, I remember doing this stretch in school and, like, people would be flailing their arms. And I'd be so scared that somebody would, like... Not fling their arm off, but like get their arm out of the socket. Cause like when I do ring fit, there's one exercise. Pretend this is the ring, right? You have to go like this, like over your head and then to your chest, like super quick. And I get so scared, I'm gonna like bust my shoulders. One, two, three, four. Brittle body. I'm disabled. <laughs> Actually, I don't know yet. Probably. Bruce is trying his best. I mean, it's the work uniform. I want Etsy shop link. It's... You'll never find it. <laughs> don't your shoulders pop up? Yeah, you want to see? You want to see? I mean, guys, you know how we have the art channel. Once we get enough buyers, I'll set up a website. Because selling on any other site that's not your own is kind of trash. What, you guys don't want to see the shoulder trick? You don't want to see the party trick? Come on. You know what else I can show you, though? Some ads, because chatters, we are in another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid those ads by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub, just like Mac did a few minutes ago. Um, after the ad, don't worry, stream isn't ending just yet. We're gonna do you laugh, you freaking lose. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. And I just uploaded a new TikTok, so go like it, go leave a comment. Okay. Let's find a video. A... Dude, it's sad. The whole channel got nuked. Work was so fun. 
not often you say that, huh? Cool. Uh, the, the channel that these compilations are on. Like, basically, all the videos got privated. Sad. Okay. If I left. What the heck am I looking? <laughs> it's the channel's page, obviously. Okay, okay. Okay. You guys know the rules? If I laugh, I end stream. And if chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh, okay? How'd you laugh already? With the boys. Oh no. Oh no, I've done that shit. Despite his criminal mind, this man is behaving well. His reward is the canoe. This time he can sit in the canoe for up to an hour. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna put in Zazzle. It's getting ready to click off. <laughs> Bad friend. Dude, fucking dumbass. Make sure it locks before you leave. That guy deserved it, honestly. trying to talk a fucking koala is about to fuck her day up hey get him get him go <laughs> my god it's huge alex the great <laughs> Children, Jesus Kitty will make sure there's enough fish and bread for everyone. <gasps> Tornado! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I wanted to see the score. <laughs> oh.
I don't get it. It's not doing anything now. <laughs> oh, it's probably like showing the best clip because like, look, this is V200. It's probably showing like the best clip of each top moment or comp. Maybe I don't know. It comes with mochi balls and you stick it into this creamy. Oh, dude. My phone 10. This is a cat. <laughs> no, Keanu. Is it milk or cake? Oh, it's the wee sound. Oh, it's a flood. That would be my bag. I didn't laugh. But look how the cake goes flying. It's like a fucking cartoon. That would be my bag. Very wrong. You like that shit? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist! Full Metal Alchemist. Yo, what you got there, Jesus? <laughs> oh, I said a flatbread. He can't help but to put in his complaints. Mood! <laughs> Sam! What you doing? You got a hot dog, buddy? Proper British dishes, part 35. Pretzels on fucking fire. What's the pan? Oh my god. That's gonna be me next week. Two shots. My friend got a crush on you. Do <laughs> it. Doing. Oh. Oh, I stay safe. 
Hey, yo. Holy. Dude, these are like almost too fast. It doesn't give me enough time to process. Illegal pet right there. Yeah, that was good. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? I want to find the cake moment. That was good. Donde? Donde? I don't know, but the cake, it was like out of a cartoon where he's like, ah! It was good. It was good. Okay, so chatters. We did get some subs and bits today. So we do get to do a calligraphy. I am now British. So anybody who donates to the stream or uses channel points will get the name written. So I'm going to get some music on and get that camera set up for y'all. Gentle reminder, um, I am moving soon, so the stream schedule will be kind of sporadic in the upcoming weeks, but don't worry. I will come back. <laughs> um, since we're farming, because I'm broke, um, cheer bits or donate for TTS. Wowie. Oh, the music ended. I was like, why is it not playing? Oh, I don't have caps lock on. Here we go. Also, just a reminder, while I'm getting this set up, <clears throat> if everybody could go politely follow my art channel, it's peacein underscore art on Twitch. You can click the banner and chat. Click the heart. It's hashtag free to follow. We're so close to affiliate. We only need eight more followers, guys. Eight more. Okay, let's do donation names first. And then we'll do calligraphy. How can reminders are gentle? Do you want me to say... If you don't follow, you get banned. Should I say that instead? I feel like that's a bit much, you know? Or is that what it'll, what it'll take? There we go. Is that what it'll take for you guys to listen? Some firm reminders. Okay, so we had Mac and Titans today. So, gentlemen, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel, and I'll write your name. Ooh, it's cold. Dude, I'm not excited to walk today. I literally haven't gone outside in like a week. <laughs> Cause it's so cold. I don't want to go out if I don't have to, you know? Yeah, Titans gifted a sub and utilized TTS today.
Any color? Okay. Thank you for redeeming that. Oh, I did spell it. I thought there was an I, but it's, a, it's the one that's the I. I got confused. Silly people putting numbers in their name, throwing me off. Okay, so we had Titans with... One gifted and then a hundred bits to the chat today. I think the reason why I enabled the bit TTS is because the moderation settings are the same as your normal chat room, so people shouldn't be able to say bad things. So it's fairly safe. And I feel comfortable with like anonymous cheering now gone. Anyway. Okay, new page. This will be posted on Twitter later if I remember. gone yeah anonymous cheering was removed by twitch a few weeks ago that way people couldn't abuse like anonymous donations through tts because like if it's anonymous there's no way for the streamer to see who donated so if somebody says like a slur or a bad word there'd be no way for the streamer to know who did it that's the main reason why i assume they disabled it I mean, I think it's for the better. I know some people are like, ooh, less money, but it's like, it's about the safety for the creator. I mean, I don't think many people gift or cheer anonymously anyway. I don't see it often in big channels that much either. Because I think people want that attention when they give a donation, right? Okay, I do see a lot of anonymous, like, gifted subs in Amaranth's chat, now that I think about it. I think it's because people don't want others to know that they're supporting her, probably, which is unfortunate. Like, okay, now, I actually think about it. I literally, out of all the channels I watch, Amaranth gets the most anonymous donations. Damn, it's sad, that's why. Sag. Would want to donate anonymously? It's because they don't want their name. They don't want people to know that they're donating. Okay, we had Mac with... A seven-month resub. Dude, I can't believe I was muted for five minutes earlier. That's so cringe. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> That's because I usually have people chatting. Man, I still can't get over. I got three first place today. Crazy races today. I'm actually correct. No one told you? Uh, I only had one viewer, and that means it was me watching. That's why. <laughs> Because what happens when you miss, like, your- if your stream schedule is consistent, like, notifications don't go out to everybody. And also, if you're not live on a date where you're supposed to go live, then people don't know you're live. So it's fine. I would have told you, true. I mean, okay. It's been a long time since I've had one person watching. A very long time, and that's fine. Wednesday is usually my slowest day of the week anyway. That's why I usually do Eastward. 
but since I wasn't feeling good, everything shifted today. Uh, once again, thank you, Mac, for that seven-month reset. Do you feel redeemed from Saturday? Yes! I got three first place, which is crazy. I feel great. I was actually sweating. Okay, Channel Boy Redemptions now. We had Mac and Luigi redeem. Luigi got the rainbow today. Wednesday is when I realize I do all my weekly stuff. <laughs> I usually do like my household things on Mondays. And then my primary homework days are like Wednesdays and Thursdays. Since all my assignments are due Friday this week, I have to do everything tomorrow. Monday's your only day off? Damn. I hate living like that. Because, like, when I was working in service, there were days where I had, like, no days off. It sucked. Because the way the schedule was, since I worked at two stores, I technically was on two different schedules. So, my owner would be like, oh, well, I gave you Saturday off at this store, and then I gave you Monday off on the other store. But since I have you off on Saturday at store one, I'm still going to have you work at store two on Saturday. And since I gave you a day off at the store two on Monday, I'll make you work store one Monday. And she'd be like, are you okay with that? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Because it's like, that's how it is when you're a manager. You gotta cover shifts. It sucks. That's why, like, I don't want to go back to work until I get, like, a written to where I can physically handle it, because... The problem, when you don't have a diagnosis, your workplace can still fire you. Like, they don't legally have to give you accommodations if you don't have a diagnosis. It's dumb. But we'll see. It'll be okay. Give me a Luigi Gamer. And let's do Mac and Purple. The rainbow looks so nice. That's nice that they give you for sure Mondays off. That's really nice. There's been times where I've had to basically beg employees to work on their requested days off and it sucks that you're put in that position as a manager that's why like I like the, the idea of having my own business but I don't want too many people working under me give me a not mac redeem any other donators or redeemers Mod check anybody? Also, no raid. Nobody's live. That's good that they're flexible. That's really good to hear, at least. Not many workplaces are like that. Yellow? Okay. Thank you for redeeming and stalling, Kobobo. I know I talked about it earlier, but I think we're gonna do this month's Meggy Sports Mario Kart tournament at the very beginning of December. Once I'm fully settled in. Is there a sub goal incentive? Um not for today. <laughs> Cause tomorrow I have to do homework. And then Friday I have to pack something, so I won't have time to do bonus streams. Sub goal is just for fun. It's just for fun. Get Kobobo. Yeah, don't worry about donating, Mac. You've already gifted seven this month, so you're solid. You've gotten your sketch card. 
I'd honestly... I think I kind of want bits. Because now that you have TTS, it's nice. I like it just like I like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That didn't even make sense. <laughs> Thank you, Chatters. Last call, last call. I'm putting my pens away. I agree, gifting subs is more fun than bits, but with TTS, maybe bits will become more fun. I mean, I think it all depends on what the person wants. Because I agree, like, I know I like gifting subs because then people get emotes, and that's cool. But, I don't know, bits is more tangible. I don't care, though. Anything is appreciated. Just being in chat. Okay. Seriously? Okay, no more names are done. Seriously? The best thing people can do is just chat in the stream. That is the best thing. Because dead chat equals dead stream. Awkward but true, so. Okay, let's end it here, guys. I guess nobody's left, no raid. Um. I will be live again tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST with Eastward. Oh, wait, actually. Would it be better if I did it Friday? No, because we're going to farm on Friday. Because I think Friday, um, depending on if I move my TV, might be the last stream on this channel for a bit. Unless I keep my TV. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because, like, I don't know if we're going to have access to, like, the truck until after Thanksgiving now. So, I don't know. This is going to be a crazy week. Okay. Um, moving away stream, yeah. People buy my last stream ever. I'm going to farm the title so much. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway. Um, once again, thank you to anybody who watched, any chatters, any lurkers. And once again, thank you Titans and Mac for subscribing and Peace and Art for gifting a sub. Wow. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll be live again tomorrow. At 11 with Eastward. It'll be a longer one because we I don't think we'll beat the game, but we'll probably get to like the second to last chapter. Anyway. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye. Yeah, we already played unpacking, but I feel like literally everybody plays unpacking when they're moving. Like, that's that's the gimmick. That's the gag that everybody does. It's unoriginal. You know, only original content here, guys. <laughs> okay. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I need a really fucking good Mario Kart, though. Wait, last thing. We need more clippers. Mod check clippers? We've had, like, very few clips for this month. I need clippers. Okay, bye. <laughs>